So this video is an inbox review of the Type 1 Chihi from Fine Molds in 135 scale. Uh, the Type 1 Chihi is a improved Type 97 Chiha. They have a they put a a smaller gun with a higher muzzle velocity on it. The Chiha had a a 57 millimeter low velocity gun for infantry support and the Type 1 has a 47 millimeter high velocity gun. Uh, it really didn't do what it was supposed to do because they realized that uh, it, it could not, when they made it, they couldn't outperform M4's, Sherman's. Uh, M4 had a 75 millimeter on it. And uh, so uh, shortly after they made this Type 1, they also made the Type 3 with a 75 millimeter gun on it. Okay, so please like and subscribe, please, please, and click the bell when you want to see when I post new videos, and thanks for watching. So here we have the Chi He from Fine Molds in 135 scale, Japanese tank. Um. World War II. Now they didn't have a lot of tanks because uh, they did a lot more air and sea battles. But they did have some tanks to uh, help hold the land that they took. But the tank battles weren't all that. Not, not like in Africa or Europe and so. We have a pretty simple instruction sheet here. It is in Japanese and English. Start like most tanks with the suspension and work on the hull. I'm putting the wheels on. The exhaust. Hull details, more hull detail, like tools. Details on the rear, then we start with the turret here. The, the uh, cradle for the gun, the gun. And final assembly of the turret and then putting the turret on the, on the tank. And here we have a couple antennas to make. I use uh, brass wire. It seems to work best for me. I know some people stretch through but I, I find it hard to do. We have one simple painting instruction here. Three color, parched grass, earth, flat black. Oh, grass green. Four colors. Well, flat black is not for the camo. <laughs> and then here we have three markings. Vehicle of the 5th Tank Regiment, 1945. August 1945, Kagoshima. Prefecture. And this this is 1945 Japan. And then there's a little sheet here telling you how to. It comes with rubber track, and it tells you how to you know, put it together, which is not that difficult. Uh, let's take a look at the parts now. Here's the first tree. The turret is molded separately. There's uh, some problems here. You can see 
little dents in it, probably from being in the bag, like it was, loose. And there's also a couple little, it's going to have to be sanded down. I can't see anything. There are little parts here that are sticking out so the plastic isn't smooth. The moldings were not all that great. There's one here, it's like that on both sides. And this side here, here, here. Those aren't details, that's problems with the molding. But it looks like that, uh, these parts look uh, better. Look here in the smooth. Yeah, I don't see nothing like that here. These are pretty good detailed parts here. These are just turret parts, doors, hatches. Take a look at the, the hole. And it comes in the back with two parts with the the bottom of the chassis and the top of the hole. The bottom of the hole. There's a little problem here. Same like on the turret. Little part has to be sanded down, smoothed out. But here in just this one place. Which won't take much. I mean it's gonna be covered up anyways when you put the the wheel on there. But it needs to be flat, most likely. So it fits right. So that's gonna have to take a little sanding. There are some streaks here, but that shouldn't be a problem. It's all gonna be covered up with paint. The streaks won't show. Bottom of the turret. Rivet detail is good. And the hatch looks good too, it has rivets. Bottom of the hole looks good. one part on the bottom on the side that has to be fixed the top of the hole that's going to require some cleanup where it was attached it wasn't broken off very cleanly The molding looks from the top looks pretty good. But it will require a little cleanup. There's some streaks here, like scratches almost here. It's gonna have to be sanded a little bit with lightly. Here along these hatches. Of course, on tank scratches can actually work because you won't find a tank without scratches on it. Now I was on a tank, tanks for eight years, and they're constantly getting beat up. I mean, they're big vehicles. So in this in this bag comes uh, three three more trees. These are the sides to the hull. The exhausts. There's a little flash here. Here's the hatches, toolbox, turret ring. Well, not turret ring, but the, for the commander's cupola, the ring. Uh, the sprocket covers. These moldings look pretty decent.
There's no major problems I see so far. Except for these rivets here look funny. These, these two are different than these two. As far as spacing goes. The ones on the left look farther apart than the ones on the right. I don't know if that's really supposed to be like that or not. Or if it's a mistake. There's some streaks in these parts as well. I'm just going to need a little sanding here on this front of the... It's a little uneven here. Looks like. But all in all, these parts look pretty good. Here's some flash. And the last two trees are road wheels. Uh, road wheels, sprockets in the, the, the arms. Some cages in it. Those wire grill things. I don't remember exactly what they're called. <sighs> and let's see. Sprockets look, sprockets look pretty good. In fact, all the wheels look pretty good. I don't see no big mistakes here with the moldings. There's pin marks between. Might have to work on these a little bit because it's going to show. It could show maybe. The arms look good. All the pin marks are on the back. It sits really close to the hull. That won't really be seen. Yeah, these trees look good though. The second one. Same with the pin marks here. I have to, to watch out that the pieces, uh, parts fit together good with, with such deep pin marks. But I don't think it'll be a big problem. I only flash on the one tree. The rest doesn't see, doesn't have much, or any. And these parts look good too. I don't see any major problems. Unfortunately, on the hull and the turret are some problems that's gonna have to be fixed. Well, we have clear parts for the lights and the uh, periscopes. We have a plastic mesh for a bustle rack. Or for grills, not a bustle rack. Has to be some kind of grill. Oh, these, okay, these are protectors for the exhaust. They go over the exhaust, so you can see it here on the picture on the back here. And here we have the decals. And the decals look pretty good. They almost look like Tamayo decals. They look really cool. And I kind of like this one in the middle, the 385. I wish I knew what it said though. <laughs> Unfortunately, I've never learned Japanese. It would be kind of difficult, I think. Okay, and the last one we have are the rubber tracks. Rubber tracks. Uh, something, I'm kind of... I think rubber tracks are good if they're if they're molded good, but some of the older Tamiya tanks um, have really bad moldings on the tracks. But these look good, actually. The detail looks really good, but the main problem I found I find with these tracks is that uh, the paint seems to come off of them, like it flakes off. I don't know if that's just because of the enamel paint, but the the paint does not grab to this, I don't is it polystyrene? Or I don't know what, exactly what they're made of, but whatever they're made of, the paint doesn't stick to it. And that means, I don't know if it's just the enamel Revell paint that has a problem, or if there's more. If other other ty types of paint have problems. But look, this is good on both sides. And sometimes you'll find that on the outside looks good, but on the inside, or on one side looks good and the other side is really bad, like there's nothing there. This looks pretty detailed on both sides for the track. 
Later I'm going to be doing a video, one of these days, about how I rusty wire the track. Because I've seen a lot of people do it wrong. Uh, I've seen some people just paint the track all silver or uh, steel. And that's wrong. There's no track that looks that way. It's rusted. And it rusts like, like express. Before you even get it on the tank, it's rusted. So you can't say it's new track or anything. Every time we did track on our tank, I mean, it was rusted when we got it, when we put new track on it. And I've seen, also seen people that painted, I think it was an artillery piece, and, and, and the track, the metal part of the track was painted gloss black. I'm like, eh? No, no way. Maybe in a museum, but not in real life. So this, this, this model is okay. It has some problems, but it won't be so hard to fix. Um, my next my next review will be a kit I already built. It will be the Bandai, the wide wing from Bandai in 172 scale. Um, I tell you, I think it looks pretty good. And uh, thanks for watching. Until next time.